ডিয়ার ভিউয়ার্স বিশ্ব সম্প্রীতি বিষয়ক অনুষ্ঠান ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোনে আপনাদের স্বাগত জানাই আমাদের অনুষ্ঠানের এই পর্যায়ে স্টুডিওতে উপস্থিত রয়েছেন ইউনেস্কোর অফিসার ইন চার্জ মিস্টার কেসি ওয়াইসু ওয়েল মিস্টার কেসি ওয়াইসু ভেরি ওয়েলকাম টু ইয়ার ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোন থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ইয়েস সো আফ ফর হাউ লং ইউ আর ওয়ার্কিং ইন বাংলাদেশ ওয়েল আই হ্যাভ বিন হিয়ার ফর 2 এন্ড 1/2 ইয়ার্স নাও 2 এন্ড 1/2 ইয়ার্স All right. So before that, uh, where have you been? I was in Thailand. You were in Thailand. How yeah. many years have you been there? Um, about 15 years. 15 years it yes. was in Thailand? Yeah, in Bangkok. It's a long time, of course. Yeah, it was. Right. Good. Very good. So, uh, you know, about Bangladesh, um, what impressed you a lot? I mean, what do you like most in Bangladesh? Well, um, I feel a lot of energies in mm. in this country. I mean, mm. so many people and particularly young people moving around on the street. And uh, my favorite one uh, in Bangladesh is uh, food. Food. Yeah. Absolutely. So what kind of food do you like most? Um, I like biryani. <laughs> biryani. Yes. Oh, good. Very and good. And also mm-hmm. every kind of uh, uh, curry. Every kind of curry you yes, like? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. So, you like the hotel? I mean, in our country, the restaurant, we have many restaurants. Do you sometimes go to restaurant? Yes, yeah, particularly when we have uh, visitors, mm-hmm. we enjoy going out and uh, try different kinds of uh, local foods. It's very good. So, could you tell us um, about uh, education? I mean, you're uh, working in Bangladesh, right? So. What is your actual activity here in Bangladesh? Mm. Uh, basically, UNESCO is promoting education for all. And uh, when we talk about education, many people think about schools. But mm. we, a school is, of course, important. Uh, but we also promote the, uh, non-formal education mm-hmm. and also informal learning. Mm-hmm. That means uh, outside of school, Mm. Uh, people uh, should have opportunities to yeah. learn uh, because in the case of Bangladesh uh, nearly half of the school children uh, drop out from before completing the primary schooling mm-hmm. and half of the adults cannot be done right so we should uh, provide uh, decent education to uh, these people so uh, in short, UNESCO is promoting uh, not only the school education, but also other alternative means of education. Like alternative means of education? Could you tell, well, explain uh, a little bit about it? Okay. Um, those who uh, miss the chance mm-hmm. to go to school, school right. and mm-hmm. become adult, uh, we promote non-formal education. Non-formal education? Yeah. Uh, possibly... Uh, learning centers nearby their house mm-hmm. and uh, learn not only reading, writing, uh, calculation, but also uh, certain skills, uh, some vocational skills, and then they can also raise the income as well. So learning and also earning some income. Learning and earning. Yes, that, that is also important. So how many aspect. centers do you operate this uh you know, non-formal education? Mm. Well, we do not direct, the UNESCO uh, does not operate uh, any learning centers mm-hmm. directly, oh, yes. but mm. uh, we support uh, government and also uh, NGOs, NGOs to operate uh, this kind of learning centers. And uh, by providing training courses, providing materials, arrange the visit to uh, different places. You support them? Yes. So could you tell us the name of the NGOs uh, who are operating this thing? Like? Well, uh, we uh, often work with uh, Dhaka Hassania Mission. Dhaka Hassania Mission? Yes, and also we have good uh, relationship with uh, Kampe. Kampe, yeah. Of course, uh, Brak, mm-hmm. uh, Save the Children. So uh, many NGOs, because government alone cannot uh, provide this kind of services. We have to mobilize the resources of NGOs and also uh, civil society. So you involve civil society and the NGOs 
and also government. Yes. So this way you operate your activity here in Bangladesh. Yes. Oh, okay. Tell us something about your family. Yeah. My family. Yeah. Ah. Well, I have a wife mm -hmm. and uh, I have one son. They live in Japan. Oh, they're living in Japan. Yeah, in Kyoto. One son. So what is your son doing now? Well, he graduated uh, uh, high school and then uh, he's now preparing for university entrance exam. Oh, very good. So mm. I know that you are from Japan. Yes. So could you tell us the, your, uh, I mean, education system in your country and in your country, what is the difference uh, do you find uh, between these two countries? Because your country, is, I'm sure, this is a developed country and we are a developing country. So what is the basic difference between these two countries in terms of education? Well, uh, that's a good question. Um, in our country, uh, most of people go to up to uh, uh, senior secondary school, mm -hmm. uh, meaning uh, grade 12. And uh, half of the, almost half of the population go to uh, university. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, in a way, it is good, but sometimes our issue is uh, uh, university exam is very competitive. Mm -hmm. So too much education is in a way universalized, but uh, uh, everybody wants to uh, get the better qualification and uh, go to the better university. So it's very competitive. So on the other hand, uh, in Bangladesh, as I mentioned, that uh, um, half of the population Cannot go to school, yes. Read and write. So mm -hmm. I found that education scenario is very different. Very, very different. Yeah. Very, very different. Mm. Yes, of course. So um, tell us, because UNESCO, you know that they operate also culture, you know. Mm. So uh, what is your activity about the cultural, uh, you know, exploration? Okay. Um, in culture, we have three main uh, areas. One is, as you know, uh, this tangible... Uh, heritage, like a Sundarban and so on, and then another intangible uh, bow song. Uh, so preserving all this uh, cultural heritage is an uh, important area. The third area is uh, to encourage the uh, creative craft making. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So preserving the kind of uh, indigenous or local skills, and that can link with the uh, uh, income generation and uh, and so on, quality of life improvement type of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yes. these are the these are the areas we are doing. Oh yes, thank you. So, Mr. Kichi, uh, could you tell us, like International Mother Language Day? As you know, that mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in twenty first February, uh, back in nineteen fifty two, like many people, they have sacrificed their life in Bangladesh for the language. You know, Rafiq, Salam, Barkot. So they have sacrificed their life. That is why UNESCO has recognized this day as International Day. We call it International Mother Language Day. So could you tell us the spirit of this day? Mm. Well, uh, mother tongue is a very important uh, because uh, when, when we look at education, when you go to a school, mm -hmm. and if the language taught in a school is different from what, what you use in at home, mother language, is, yes. uh, then you have a lot of difficulties. When you have uh, uh, the language, uh, uh, your language is different yes. from the uh, national language, uh, then uh, you cannot work. Communication is not as smooth, you know. There is That's an right. interruption, certainly. Yeah. So, and also uh, there is evidence that if you start your education with your own mother tongue, mm -hmm. and then uh, you can comprehend or you can develop your uh, understanding these uh, oh, yes. mechanisms uh, much more easily than you start with a uh, uh, foreign language, mm -hmm. non mother tongue language. Mm -hmm. So this is a very important uh, area for us. Yes. And, but another point is that uh, we have to link the mother tongue with uh, main uh, national languages. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that you start with your mother tongue. Then okay. There should be the, a transit to the national language so that you have access to the uh, 
uh, social, economic activities. If mm -hmm. you keep learning the uh, mother tongue only, and then uh, you may not be mainstreamed in the uh, national level activities. So uh, there should be a choice. Mm -hmm. We start, we encourage learning the, uh, with the mother tongue, and then those who want to go to the uh, secondary higher education, okay. they sh there should be the option that those, they can uh, go to that stream. But some people, they may be happy with mm -hmm. uh, just uh, using a mother tongue mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. the local uh, area activities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. in my view, uh, this kind of choice is uh, very important when we promote mother languages. And we have to preserve our mother language because as you know, in the world, I guess um, we had about 6,000 languages. Mm. So we know that every day one language dying, you know. So that is why I guess uh, UNESCO has got the responsibility to preserve this language, I mean mother language. Yes, that's important for our own identity mm -hmm. and also preservation of culture. But again, uh, we cannot force, we cannot yeah, impose our views that uh, the, uh, those who have their own language mm -hmm. have to continue their language. Uh, we cannot impose that way. They are those no, people, if they want to learn the national language and then they want to learn the English or other foreign languages, yes, there should be the options. I we, think this uh, uh, government and ourselves, we, yes, we have uh, to uh, keep it open. That's my, my own view. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kishi. Darshok, I'm going to talk to you I'm going to talk to আমরা আরেকবার আপনাদের ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোন অনুষ্ঠানে স্বাগত জানাই আমাদের সাথে রয়েছেন मिस्टर কিসি ওয়াইয়াসু मिस्टर কিসি কুড ইউ টেল আস দিস টাইম आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर এড ভিজিট টু ইউএন ইউনাইটেড নেশনস ইন নিউ ইয়র্ক এন্ড শি হ্যাজ ডিমান্ড বাংলা ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ শুড বি দ্য অফিশিয়াল ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অফ ইউনাইটেড নেশনস সো কুড ইউ টেল আস अबाउट ইট ওয়াও ইটস আ ডিফিকাল্ট কোশ্চেন ফর মি আই মিন uh i think many countries want to have their own languages as a national languages including japanese so uh yeah it would be nice but uh, i'm not sure but again uh, as you see that uh, mm. just a big bloodshed for this language in bangladesh back in 1952 mm. i'm sure that there are very few countries who have uh, got such bloodshed so we have sacrificed a lot for our language. Mm. And uh, I, I guess uh, <clears throat> about uh, 30 crore people, they speak this language, if I'm not wrong. So our demand is, I guess, right. Mm. What is your stand in this? Uh, well, again, it's a, <laughs> it's a difficult question. I, I haven't thought about this, uh, uh, my stand. But let me put it this way, uh, that uh, UN, uh, including UNESCO, in reality is dominated by the uh, main uh, official languages. So I myself have to speak or communicate in English or other official languages. I cannot use Japanese for the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, my official communication. Sometimes it's uh, frustrating. You know, I cannot express uh, fully. Uh, so, so I personally, emotionally, I understand this uh, appeal. But uh, as a UNESCO official or staff, uh, I, I don't think I'm in the position to say this is a good oh, yes. approach. Once uh, it is approved, and then uh, why not uh, Hindi, why mm -hmm. not uh, uh, Jap yes, uh, Japanese, uh, Tagalog, uh, there are many... Yes, Mr. Kichi, I understand. Mm. The, the, uh, to recognize this uh, International Mother Language Day, it means that we have to show equal respect to every single language, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Am I right? Right, right. So that is true. I understand your position as well. But we have the real ground as well, just demanding this uh, Bangla language should be the official language of the United Nations. 
Anyway, let's see what happened. Mm. What yeah, happened that, the particular, that particular point, uh, when we talk about the literacy, mm -hmm. uh, it is not uh, just uh, reading, writing skills. It's not uh, something like uh, you can mm. ride a, a bicycle or you can swim. It is also a pride. You know, we talk about this uh, uh, Bengali as uh, official language. Uh, in a way, it's a pride of the Bangladesh people mm -hmm. to fight uh, against, uh, uh, you know, to to get this uh, independence and uh, identity. So, why we are promoting literacy is that uh, uh, those who were born in the country mm -hmm. and uh, cannot read and write. That means they they don't have the enough. Uh, confidence and uh, identity. So mm -hmm. it's not uh, literacy is not uh, just uh, uh, simple skills, but mm -hmm. it's your own personality. So that's why we are promoting the uh, literacy and also mother tongue. Mother it's a very language. good job. I'm sure that you are yeah. doing a very good job in our country. Mr. Kichi, one more question. Mm -hmm. Like I would like to ask you, uh, did you visit it? I mean, did you visit some historical places of Bangladesh? Yeah, well, I I visited the historical places in Dhaka city. Mm. It's an old town and the Star Mosque and those places. Mm -hmm. And also, I went to the uh, Pahapur. Pahapur, Pahapur, yes, Pahapur. Pahapur, uh, Pahapur uh, the heritage site. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, these are the places I visited so far. So, are you? I mean, have you been impressed to see this? Uh, you know, heritage of uh, Bangladesh? Uh, yes, uh, because it is religious oriented uh, places. As mm. far as I understand, I see some cultural background, cultural and historical background. background historical background, places. cultural background. Yes. So actually, uh, you are in Bangladesh for about two years and a half. Mm. So I guess uh, you have visited a lot of, uh, we have some, uh, you know, our long heritage and we sometimes organize big, big program, national program. So do you really uh, attend those programs? Mm, I attended a couple of times, but I don't remember the names. That much, I'm sorry. Dear viewers, Atukhun Apna Dekh Chilen Diplomatic Zone. Apna Dekh Agami Parbo Dekhar Amantran Janiye. Aaj Kya Amre Khani Shesh Kurchi. Apna Shabai Bhalo Thakben. Shushto Thakben, Shundur Thakben.